Hey guys, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you um, kind of the basics of writing a brand new post in the Gutenberg editor. Um, so I'm actually going to show you two different ways. Um, for those of you who've never used Gutenberg before, um, it may be a little easier for you to learn where everything's at, but if you're used to the classic way of writing, it may take a little longer for you to get adjusted to how things are laid out in here. Um, so I'm going to show you two different ways to go about it. So the first one is going to be just to write directly into your uh, post here, into the editor. So when you open up a new post, it's going to look like this. I'm going to click in that little box and put your title, whatever it is. Don't put your title, but whatever yours is. Now I have the classic editor plugin installed um, because that's what I originally started with. So this here, it's gonna show, but this is actually a classic block and that's not what we want. So from this title, I'm gonna hit this plus sign and I'm gonna hit paragraph. Now you can see it's a paragraph block. Everything you write, when you hit enter, it becomes a new block, a new block will open up. So. Just start typing your content. Don't worry about making the blocks headings or anything like that. So in this one, I'm just gonna say, hello, welcome to my blog. Don't ever write that. Enter, new block. What is happening, right? Now, now let you do this, you get your paragraphs, whatever your intro, right? Then whatever your heading one is, your, your, I'm sorry, your first heading, your H2. Don't write first H2 heading, but whatever is supposed to be there for your heading um, as you're mapping out your outline, right? So I'm just gonna hit enter and then I'm gonna write the paragraphs that go under that heading. And then if I have an H3, I'm gonna put H3 and then I'm going to write whatever's in that and so you're going to write the whole thing in paragraph mode so once you get the whole thing written don't worry about images don't worry about any of that then you come back to this block and simply turn it into a heading block now it's an H2 now I like to make my bold and they stand out now this one we're going to turn it into a heading but we need to change it to H3 Again, I make mine bold, right? So then you just go back in and change the block to what it needs to be. Now, let's say you have a section that is gonna be bullet points, right? In that scenario, you wouldn't actually, um, so let's say you this, let's see right here. So the first one that you put in, don't do each bullet in its own block. Put the first one, change it, to this list. Now it becomes bullet, you just hit enter, put your next one, hit enter, put your next one. And then if you needed another paragraph block, you can just hit enter twice and then it becomes a paragraph, right? So a lot of like, once you get used to this, every new block I add manually, that's actually the kind of long way to do it, it's just the way I do it. So if you just go in and type your whole thing, and then go back and change what the blocks are to be what they need to be. Get all of the content part done. Then you can come in and add your images, um, add your, if you wanna add like a, a, a sign up form, like a mail or light form, convert kit form, whatever you have, um, then you can do that. So let's say after this block, I wanted to put an image. So you would just click in the block, hit the plus, and then right here is in media, oops, went too far, is the image block. So you would just add it, upload it from your computer, media library, wherever it is, do what you need to do for that, right? Um, let's say you wanted to add a form, like an actual form from MailerLite or ConvertKit or whatever you use. You would click the plus sign and type in short code. And it's this block right here. And then the, not the HTML, but so you have that where you share and it gives you uh, like one that's got the word script in it. It's like a shorter. And then there's one that's HTML. It's like super long. I don't use that one. Um, that's a different block. But for the short code, it's simply the script. So it's the shortened version. It usually has the word script in the line of coding. 
you just plug that in here. Um, this short code block can also be used um, if you do the native ads for uh, Amazon, like the native widget that goes at the bottom where you can put like four product recommendations. Um, that is, it's kind of a long, uh, it looks like a paragraph of code. That is short code. You would just paste that in here as well. Um, other things that you could do, um, there's blocks, there's, there's a ton of blocks. If you look over here, and I'm not going to go into each of these because they're a little more advanced. Um, but if you like your Bible verses, if you want them to be block quote, like say, say this was a Bible verse and I wanted it to be in block quote, I would just change this to quote, right? And then it may, now it indents it here, but when you actually look at the preview, it's going to be in line. Um, however, your theme is um, edit or coded, like it might be colored or whatever, that, that's all going to come back to how your theme displays it. Um, but it will be like italicized and indented and stuff. Um, you could turn it into, I mean, pull quotes, another one, it looks a little different. Um, some people like to use this. So pull quote, block quote, whichever one, just try it in your theme and see how you like it to display. Um, we talked about lists. Columns are another thing. I'm not going to go into that in this tutorial. Um, that's a little more advanced stuff. Um, I'll do that in another tutorial. So get rid of this. So, all right. So now you've got everything in here. So let's say you wanted to. So, okay. So this is where you write, right? And then over here are a lot of different controls. So the typography, the font is whatever font comes with your theme. You can change that. If you need to change the color of something, you can do that in here. You cannot change the color of a single word in a blog. It'll change the whole block. Um, but you can, like your headings, if you want them to be a certain color, just click over here and do that. You can also make the background of a block. So let's say I'm going to click in this block here. Click on color settings, background color. So, and just to show you what it would look like. So these are some cool things you can do that you really couldn't do in classic. Um, so there's the background color. This is actually my table of contents plugin. I have a plugin for that, but you can actually, there is a table of contents block that you can use. And so you just add it before your first H2 and then all the headings that you add in the post will automatically populate it. Um, I'm not using this because I already have a plugin. But okay, other things you can do. I'm gonna take that off. Clear um, over here. So let me close that. Um, so one thing that might confuse you. So when you're so you have over here, you have post and you have block. So this is the post settings itself. So, you know, who your author is, if you have other writers, you know, when you hit publish, the slug, um, where you assign it to the category. Um, if you have tags, setting your featured image, um, allowing con comments on the post and so forth. Now that's for the post itself, right? But then you have this block. So this one, when you're inside a particular block, so let's click on this block, then there's things you can change. So if I wanted to make this block background a certain color, that would be in the block itself. And then if I click over to this block, then I would have different settings, right? So you have post, which is what you're doing with the post, the assignments for the post as a whole, but then you can edit things within each individual block, okay? Um, whether you use Yoast or Rank Math, so when you get ready to enter all the metadata, the SEO stuff, it's this little block right here. So I have Rank Math, but Yoast will be right here. It'll be a big Y. You click on that, and then you add your stuff, right? Um, your keywords. It'll look a little different if you're using Yoast. All that'll be in here. Um, so this is the blog post. This is the Yoast metadata and stuff. Now I have a Genesis theme. And so that's this little, I don't know, hurricane looking thing right here. So in here is where if I wanted to change the post from a content sidebar to full width, sometimes you may wanna do that for like some resource pages or landing pages and things like that. 
then you would just change that right here. Most of you won't need to do that if it's just for regular blog posts. Um, then when you're ready to publish, when everything's done, right, you've got now all your content done, your links, um, your forms, it's all ready to go. You hit publish and then this little window pops up. And then if it's ready to go, you just hit publish. Mine, I usually do them in advance. So um, I will change the date. So like if it's supposed to publish Monday, I'll just put the date right here, just like you did in classic. It's just a little bit different steps to get there. Cancel that. So that's the one way to start writing your content. So let me show you really quick another way that some of you might find easier. This is going to be helpful for those of you who write your content in like a Word document first. So let me hop over here. So I'm just going to put your title. And I'm going to add my first paragraph block. So now I'm going to pull up. This is a post someone had already written. I'm actually going to leave out that one long verse. So let me add So I'm going to add this in here. And then I'm going to come back and grab all right, so what does the mother say? Okay, so in this, I have H's and I have paragraphs, right? It's going to put it in just like it is. So this was an H. But basically, you can just copy the entire document and paste it starting with a paragraph block. Then go back and make sure the heading blocks are what they should be. Instead of typing it manually in, you just type it into Word how you want it to look and then copy it in. Um, the one thing that be mindful of is when you cite scripture, when you type this in the way it came from like Bible Gateway, it will actually make it into individual paragraph blocks. So I do my, my verses last so that I can type them in manually. Um, but you can type the entire thing in. It will even, so like this one had um, bullet points in it. types it in just as it is. So here's, that's an H2, regular paragraph, the bullets. So again, this might be an easier way for some of you. Just type it all out in Word first, how you want it to look, and then copy the entire thing and paste it in, starting with a single paragraph block. And then if any of the blocks don't convert properly, you just go in and change the block to what it needs to be. Um, of course, the rest of it, all the stuff over here, that's the same as what I showed you on the other view. Um, but typing it in seems to be the problem most people are having when they first start using it. But it's once you get the hang of it, it's actually pretty easy. So in some of the next tutorials, I'll go into some more of the advanced settings um, to show you like how to do some other cooler things, add different types of blocks and so forth. The other thing, uh, for those of you who are like adding links, whether it's an internal link, an external link, an affiliate link or whatever. It's pretty much the same way it was in classic. Um, so let's say Proverbs 31, right? Let's say that's the link that I wanna make um, either to another post on my site or another website, or maybe this is a devotional about the Proverbs 31 woman from Amazon. So, you highlight the words that you want to link. I like to make mine bold so they stand out and then hit the little paper clip thing. I am actually going to just use Facebook as the link to show you. So you'll type your link, whether it's an affiliate link, link to another site, whatever it is. Then if it's an affiliate link, you click this little drop down arrow thingy. Open a new window, no follow and sponsor. I check both of these. Um, this is like a new thing that was added recently or last year, um, this makes it a no follow link, which is required for all affiliate links. Then you just hit that. And then now that is um, an affiliate link. Now, if it was just a link to another website, not an affiliate link, then you would only check the open a new window one, right? So it opens up in a new window, but it's not actually an affiliate link. Um, and so, you know, this is for Amazon links, other affiliates that you might be, um, if you sell your own products. So like I have my own products on Gumroad, uh, as well as Etsy. So the same thing, 
whatever you have. Um, you grab the drink. Now, when it's your own products, it doesn't need to be an, it, it shouldn't be an affiliate, um, the affiliate tag. It's just a regular external link. So I'm just going to pull this names of God thing here and get my shareable link, which is there. And then if this was the product, so again, I would just put that link right in here. Oops. Copy. There we go. And it's not an affiliate link because it's my own product. So I only have the open and new tab. And then now it links to my actual product, right? So it doesn't matter what type of link it is, how you insert it is the same. Um, so that's pretty much it. This is again, just the basics of how to write a brand new post in Gutenberg. So again, two ways, type it manually in yourself or first type it in a Word document and then copy and paste it over into here and then go back and tweak to make sure the actual uh, blocks are what they should be. Um, all right, so if you have any questions, just let me know.